This is mental. I didn't realize this was in Dalat. Welcome to Dalat, Vietnam. This is a whole different world to Ho Chi Minh City. It is so much more peaceful. We're up in the mountains, it's cooler. I've got a hoodie on, guys. I've got just 24 hours to explore this city and just to see what it's got. Apparently there's waterfalls, loads of different stuff to see. So let's see how much we can see in just 24 hours in Dalat. If you watched the last video, we were in Ho Chi Minh City and I actually got this VIP bus from Ho Chi Minh over to Dalat. And honestly, it was so good. Highly recommend it if you're doing this route. But this morning, I've just come down to this lake, which is in the center of the city. It's so cool, a lake in the middle of the city. It just feels like we're already in the countryside. We might be in the countryside, but this place still has so much traffic. Honestly, it's crazy. I feel like everywhere I go in Vietnam, there's just gonna be people and motorbikes everywhere. Oh, we're pretty good. The freeway, you wouldn't get that in Saigon. I don't know why there's a barrier here, but we're just going to go over it. Maybe that's to stop motorbikes because they pretty much go where they want here, don't they? No idea what this is. It's almost like an amphitheater or something, but it looks quite a big monument. Like, I don't know, there's no signs or anything telling me what it is, but it looks pretty cool. I don't think I've been to another city where you've got a lake and like just more countryside in the middle of the city. It's such a good break away from stuff. It's cool. So it is a little bit chilly this morning, but I think throughout the day it's going to warm up a lot. I think the max temperature is actually 25 degrees, which is like a really comfortable temperature to walk around and just kind of explore. But yeah, this morning it was when I woke up was like 14 degrees, which is freezing. So much, so much colder than Saigon. Hello. You good? Good. Good. There is a lot of interest in my camera at the moment because I've just bought a new one in Vietnam. Quality good? What's it like? It's a cool area around here, but there's not really much to do. It's kind of just like little bits of sightseeing. So we are going to go get a quick breakfast and then we're going to head out and explore like the surrounding areas because that's where the good stuff is here in Dalat. Well, what I've been told anyway. So let's go and have some breakfast. quickly back to the hostel so I can rent a bike and then go on the adventures. Here we have it, 150,000 Vietnamese dong and let's go for the day. This could be interesting. First ride in Vietnam, wish me luck. We're doing it, we're in Vietnam on a bike. Look at the road. This is not even busy compared to Saigon. But this is still a bit crazy. Look at this. <laughs> ah, madness, absolute madness, but I kind of like it. You just got to be so careful, so aware of everything you're doing. Because you never know when a bike can come out of anywhere, literally anywhere. And then just like this, someone could be riding down the wrong side of the road. So you just got to keep your eyes open and aware of everything that's going on. This is mental. I don't know how, but bikes in Vietnam just seem to work. Oh, oh love a beep. Beeping in Vietnam is completely different. It's to make people aware rather than, you know, in England, people will get offended. But here, it's just to be like, hey, I'm on your tail, or I'm going in the wrong direction, or I'm just gonna cross, like double cross you here. But yeah, you just gotta go with it. Beeping is to help others. So let's go, let's ride in Vietnam. The one issue with being by myself is every time I want to look at what direction to go, I've got to stop, look at the map on my phone and then carry on going, which is a bit frustrating, but I mean, that's just how you got to do it. It'd be great to get like a little smartphone holder so I can actually see the direction. We have just arrived, I don't really know where, but basically in amongst all these greenhouses just on the outskirts of Dalat and this is crazy like I've never seen anything like this apparently Dalat is like a big producer in Vietnam of like produce probably because it's in the mountains so you get more rain it's a bit cooler so the crops don't like get too hot and stuff I don't know I'm, I don't know any technical stuff but the main city area is just over here so we're not even that far just like 15 minutes from the center there was nothing really to do at that little viewpoint apart from just look at the view and go to a cafe. I already had a coffee not long ago, so that would be a bad idea. But we're now going to go to a very popular thing to do in Dalat, um, but it's only opened recently, so I'm quite excited for this. Um, yeah, let's go have a look.
So we've just arrived at Dantela waterfall, but I think there's some sort of roller coaster or toboggan here. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna have a look. Oh, here it is, new alpine coaster. Not sure what that is, but let's go have a look. Up here, I think. Oh, one. All right, I don't know what I bought, but it's 200K. I think that's a round trip or something. Let's go have a look. Oh, here we go. It looks like a little coaster or something, but I think you can control it yourself. Here we go. On the roller coaster in Vietnam in Dalat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's actually quite fast. It's actually pretty fast. Whoa, whoa this is cool. Yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. Whoa, you can go pretty fast if you don't break. That's awesome. So over here you can see these guys going across the river. Maybe the waterfalls around here. Look, Dantania. This is crazy. That is so developed. This is just a waterfall. Probably a few years ago there was nothing like, you know, just a normal waterfall and now they've made it into this roller coaster thing. I'm gonna be honest, going up here it does feel a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Guys, I'm loving Dalat. This place is awesome! That was awesome. And now I think we're at the bottom of the waterfall, so let's go have a look. This has to be the best way to come down to a waterfall. A roller coaster. I was not expecting this in Dalat. Look at this. The power of this waterfall is crazy, guys. This is the dry season as well. What would it be like in wet season? So I'm guessing previously you had to walk down to this waterfall to see it, but now they've built that incredible roller coaster. You could just toboggan down. And honestly, that looks so awesome. So awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of us? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go on. Right. Yeah. Yay. Should I give this archery a go? Right, here we go. Wow. Whoa. That was a good shot. Oh. Ooh, red line. Oh, the red line. <laughs> okay. Oh! That was the first time I've done archery in like six, seven years. That was so much fun. I hit the outer white one once and then like the inner one, not the actual red dot because I already got a bottle of wine, but the inner one like twice. I was like, ah, that's quite cool. We're going back up on the coaster. So we've just left that complex there, the, the Dan Taylor waterfall, if that's how you pronounce it. And we're gonna head to a little temple nearby, which is supposed to be really cool. We've just arrived at this lake. Looks pretty cool with the mountain. Just stopped at this little cafe because I need some food. That says coffee, food, draft beer. Oh, that sounds good. I've just stopped up at this beautiful little restaurant on this lake. And honestly, it's gorgeous. It's like such a peaceful and beautiful little cafe. I highly recommend it, I'll put it down below. Spaghetti bolognese. Right, I think we're at the temple. This is full of Asian tourists. No Westerners inside, but let's go have a look, see what this temple has. So this temple is a Buddhist temple. I have seen some Chinese writing on it as well. I don't know why that is or what, but it was also in Vietnamese as well. But. Yeah, it's quite interesting. The gardens around here are also super beautiful. They've got so many flowers, so much greenery. It's really cool. This temple is less than five minutes away from the roller coaster and the waterfall. So definitely just check it out. Like literally free entrance, 10 minutes away, 10 minutes here, whatever. Yeah. Something exciting which I can actually tell you is we are going to Japan. By the time you're watching this, we are either there or going there very shortly. So it's been a bit of a secret, but I've been so excited. But this place is kind of reminding me of like, you know, the different shrines in Japan and stuff like that. So yeah, making really, me really excited for it. 
So guys, I'm gonna head back to the hostel because I wanna get ready because later on, we're gonna, I wanna check out the night market in Dalat. And then, I actually met a couple of followers um, at the waterfall back there. And they invited me to go come to the Maze Bar, which is a really cool bar in the city. So we're gonna go over there and check it out later this evening. Right guys, we're about to enter the night market. It's just over here. I'm pretty hungry, so I want to try and find some food. Let's go in. So I just ordered a beef chow mein. I thought, ooh, that sounds a bit Chinese or something. So I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nothing too special, but add some spice to this. Those noodles are really good, really good actually. This night market is absolutely massive and there's honestly so many tourists here. Mainly like Asian tourists, might even be Vietnamese, but it's just crazy how many different stalls there are, what all the different types of things they're selling here. Madness. So it is the next day, but last night after the night market, I went over to the maze bar, which was actually incredible. I've got a couple of clips of it, but honestly, you just have to go yourself because it is more than you can ever think. Like, it's not just a standard maze. It weaves in and out. There's small little cracks where you can kind of climb through. It's on so many different levels and it's, it's really awesome. Like, I've never experienced anything like it. Highly, highly recommend checking it out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please, please hit the subscribe button. Loads more Vietnam videos coming and I'm so excited to get up north, explore more of this country because this place is beautiful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.